Hi, my people. Hi, my guys. Ah, this morning, Manze, it's a very beautiful day. It's a day like no other. It's the day that I am leaving my country. My 55 years of investment into my life behind. I know I'm supposed to be excited. But how do you leave your children? What do you tell your grandchildren? I told you I had a wonderful weekend full of fun, partying, <clears throat> Mogidi Manenos. Hey, Yawa. I've tried. I've tried to fake it, but I can't. It is a very bitter, sweet moment. My grandchildren, one time you will be there. They can't understand what it is this that I can't do. They call me Kadam. Because when my first grandchild was trying to speak, she found people addressing me as Madame Lucy. And she could not pronounce the word Madame. She started calling me Kadam. And now everybody switched to Kadam. And when she was able to pronounce, she pronounced and called me Kadam. And everybody switched to Kadam. And so all of my children call me Kadam. And my own children called me Kadam. And I will be waking up to no one to call me Kadam. Uh, my daughter calls me every morning and she's like, hi, Lucelo. And before I know it, my other daughter calls and she tells me, hello, come on. What are the plans for today? And that is the life that makes me so happy. And now I have to start afresh. And unless this is to the glory of God, I don't know how I will go to the airport. I don't know how I will hug my grandchildren uh, tonight. I don't know how I will hug them. I don't know what I will tell them. I went out with them last Saturday. I went there with them to Sarit and the more fun we had, the more we don't want to detach. <laughs> Guys, this is I wish I could allow myself to say no. But how can I uh, not take advantage of such an opportunity? I'm trying to console myself. I'm trying to tell myself uh, I'm doing this for my kids, man. I have everything, man. I I have everything. I've invested in Kenya. I have invested my energy, my time, my laptop, my joy, my peace. I wake up to to familiarity and man, they leaving my grandchildren. Oh my God! I'm leaving tonight. And. Now I do realize how beautiful Kenya is. I do realize how much I'm attached to Kenya. I do realize how much I'm attached to me. And I feel like I'm going away from me. And tonight I'm taking my fright. It's bittersweet. But it is not exciting. I think it is sweet when you are running away from something. Maybe you are running away from poverty. Maybe you are running away to opportunities. I don't know. For me, it is adventure. I'm going away because this is a beautiful opportunity. It is what I'm leaving behind. 
it is my grandchildren. It's the fact that they can't understand. But at the end of the day, if I go, they have a big opportunity to come over. Because I will apply for them. I will apply for the parents and the parents will be able to bring them in a couple of years. And that is my consolation that it's a sacrifice for their good. I love my children. I love my my daughters, and I'm used to them. They are my best friends, men. And I love my business. I'm in real estate. I know how to make. I know how to make money, man. I, if I stay here, I'll still be cool. But this is an opportunity. It's adventure. When I go on holiday, I don't go alone. We go many people. Whom will I be going on holidays with there? Here yeah, I do things uh, and I'm happy. And if I'm sad, I'm sad. And I have all these experiences within very, 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 you know, it's peaceful. Kenya is peaceful. Kenya is peaceful. It's a good nation. It's a peaceful nation. Friends, men, I've never been discriminated. I don't know how it will be to be discriminated. And these children, they believe in me. They look up to seeing me over the weekend. And it will break them when I'm leaving. And that, that breaks me. So today I'm leaving. Goodbye, Kenya. Goodbye, my nation. Goodbye, my people. I will hook up with you next on YouTube. I love you. God loves you more.